Hello everybody, this is Paul talking about high powered rocket construction and it is now mid-October and I have just returned from two days at the October Skies launch Tripoli Central, Central California and uh, the weather on Friday went down midday Friday the weather was misty and a little rainy especially as the afternoon progressed but it was still a good day to fly rockets there were hardly any people there so you could work on any project you wanted. A lot of people had uh, motors they had constructed and were um, themselves and were uh, static testing them. Um, the field was wonderful and it was maybe the best rocket field I've ever seen uh, outside of uh, Black Rock, Nevada and uh, everything was a sod farm almost like instead of sod it was alfalfa fields. Uh, it was a bummer for me because this is a lot like playing golf I had four rockets I flew total and every one was a failure in some way. The first rocket was um, was on Friday was my whistle rocket. I put it up on a two grain motor and uh, somehow one of the whistles got torn off which is not surprising but what was surprising is I had a positive attachment to the whistle. Uh, a essentially a screw mount through a plastic whistle and uh, the screw was still there and nothing was on so I'm thinking what happened was the, f the force of the air through the nozzle may have heated the uh, by air friction may have heated the plastic to the point that it was soft and malleable because it got torn off completely and I don't think that's possible I had it mounted but uh, next time I will put my uh, whistle cone in a tube and we were trying to uh, sturdy, we we'll make a little more sturdy uh, situation for the uh, whistle project. My the rocket was my Pink Floyd Dark Side of the Moon Pyramid, and I flew that. And it didn't get as good a, f a fly as uh, last time. I put it up in a bigger motor. The thing about my pyramid is that I think I'm going to change a motor configuration to something like a bowling ball loft, a swift motor, or a, uh, I'm not quite sure what the Aerotech version is called. But uh, you want to use maybe a bowling ball, a loft motor. That'll be my next attempt. It's got a little, few little scuffs and bruises, and I'm going to fix that up. And uh, um, Saturday dawned, and there was a lot of fog. For a while, I couldn't see more than 12 feet, but the fog lifted, and it did lift on that side of the valley first, it seemed. And then we had wonderful, um, wonderful weather to fly. And I flew my Raven, and my Raven from Pulse Cat Aerospace, it flew wonderfully. And I just kept my eye on it all the time through my binoculars, and I saw it come down, I swear, in the north alfalfa field, north of the launch site, one square over. But I looked, and I couldn't find it anywhere. And now I suspect, did it actually go in the drainage ditch where the water was high because it had rained the night before? By the way, the rain the night before rained out the Lucerne launch that was to be held Saturday in uh, that corner of the Mojave Desert and uh, or near Joshua Tree I think uh, I'm not quite sure I've never been there but uh, Andy Werner was there and it got rained out they said and, and flooded out so he came back and was our vendor and he was well received on Saturday Andy could work Andy was flying on, on Friday he literally gave us a tutorial in uh, motor rocket uh, combination. He had his large goblin rocket, which looks like a real nice kit, and uh, he flew it on several motors, ranging J, K, and a bigger K, and I believe the K they called the coffee can motor was very interesting. It was a one grain motor, and one grain seems a very simple and reliable way, and boy, his he also wraps his chutes. He wraps them like I've never seen somebody wrap a chute so tight. He takes it out and wraps it like a, like almost like a salami with the the uh, this, the uh, string of the uh, the cord that goes to the uh, parachute being wound around. It just a little bundles, which just fits right in that tube. And I've got to say that the, every time that pole cat flew, it flew and unfurled its its uh, parachute perfectly. So of course, Andy. Uh, that's why he's the prefect. He just does a, such a good job. Very impressive. And a, a good uh, a shout out to Andy for especially all of the uh, Rocketeers on Saturday who uh, just very much relied on him as the uh, vendor. Um, 
after I lost my rocket on its first flight, I got frustrated and left the launch. It is a lot like golf, and sometimes when you go out to play golf, you score 150 or 125, which is really bad. You know, you get in the trap, you get in the water hazard, and that was my situation. So I decided after four rockets to pack it in because I knew that every rocket I flew after that would fail in some way and some bad luck. So I've had good luck, I've had bad luck, and when you're running bad, time to shut down, and I drove back to, uh, to uh, Rodeo, and I was listening to the Cal game on the radio. Go Bears, Cal beat Washington State 21-3. to First time they ever beat them in Washington in 27 years. Just Ted for you is a genius. And uh, I parked next to a guy from SC, had all his SC stuff on, and I shook his hand, real nice, friendly, to him trying to psych him out because we're going to play USC very soon. That's going to be for the control of the Pac-10. Well, thank you, everybody. And it's just a little report on uh, on uh, the uh, current launch. I believe it's still even going on because I'm doing this midday Sunday, so they're still launching. And uh, I'm not sure about the weather today. Uh, I've got to say that Jack Garibaldi, it was uh, very impressive to see him gather together six or eight kids on Friday. And Jack, he... Uh, he got the mall motors. He gets the mall motors. They all have these Estes rockets. And he loads up the Estes pad. And then he throws the switch in. It's a mass launch from the Estes pad. And one rocket goes off to the right. And all the rest go up. And some go short and some go further. And the kids are so excited. And Jack Garibaldi, a very good uh, president of Tripoli Central California. Well, um, one thing I've discovered finally, by the way, when I flew at PML kit, and that shredded also, is that I've gone beyond the level of being able to use a PML kit. PML kits, I just shred them. And the motors are too powerful, and uh, PML, uh, maybe they'd have to be uh, uh, hardened up somehow. But uh, I am now I'm, I'm building a uh, Maitre missile, uh, th one-third scale Maitre French anti-aircraft, anti well, it's French air-to-air -air missile, and uh, it is solid. And it is not going to, I don't know what it'll do, but it's not, going to shred because my shred once once that rocket goes sideways and the shred starts it all goes to hell well thank you everybody